everyone, I'm Yasmin Gonzalez and I am with the King's Art Center today. We will be showing you how to make your own DIY dry at home clay with ingredients that you can find at home. Followed along with roses that you can also make real easy. You will need a bowl to mix all your ingredients, a cup of glue, a tablespoon of baby oil, one tablespoon of vinegar, a cup and a half of cornstarch, and a teaspoon of lotion. Any kind will do. First, we're going to add in our dry ingredients, and our only ingredients that it is dry will be the cornstarch. And we'll, we'll start with one cup. Next, I will be adding my tablespoon of vinegar. Then a tablespoon of baby oil. When pouring your liquid ingredients, make sure you pour it over your bowl and throw it into your bowl. Next, I added the rest of my cornstarch, which was half a cup, and I mixed it, making it less sticky. And I can go ahead and grab it with my hand and start kneading the clay. And now you have your own air dry clay. The more you start playing and working with it, the stickier and moist it gets, which is great if you want to make snowmen. Um, but if you want it less sticky, just add on cornstarch. And put it in a baggie and save it to work on it another day if you'd like. So now to begin to make your own rose, we will be grabbing a little bit of clay, rolling it up, and pressing it down till we get little small long discs. And it does not have to be in any shape or form. It does not have to be in any shape or form. And we just leave it down and start making as many as we can. Probably around eight or seven is fine. I'm going to take the longest piece that I have and start rolling it to make the center of my rose. Especially in every crevice. I start from small petal and gradually add on the larger petals. You can rip the bottom piece out. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you tried this at home and made your own weave, make sure to follow us on our social media and show us pictures and all the fun you had making this project. Our social media name is at the King's Art Center. You can visit our website at thekingsartcenter.org to find out more information of what we do and all the classes that we offer. Thank you for watching.